Hey everyone, welcome to Jesse's Stories, a place where we listen to many different stories, learn about cultish stuff. Everyone has a story to tell. Thanks so much for being here. Embrace your truth, tell your story. So today, I like breaking it down for you always before I go into it. Today, I'm going to go into Elizabeth Clare Prophet. She was born in the 1940s. She's actually the one who came up with the term or I guess really made the term Twin Flames a huge deal where I know Jeff and Shalia took Jeff and Shalia, the cult I was in, they took a lot of what she said and put it into their Church of Union, all their things. They took a lot. Like, she even has her own book on Twin Flames, too. I'll leave all her information, like, where I got this information from below. So the articles I read, I did actually do research on her. I did research when I first left Twin Flames Universe. That was the first thing I did. I looked at similar cults, and you can see the articles below, too. I always leave my Medium articles, my Substack I'm still working on, and we'll start. Once I start, I'll continue doing weekly stuff. But right now, I'm mainly focused on here, writing my memoir and educating on cults and just the LGBTQIA community, which I'm part of. So please check out the Queer Voices. I'll have more artists of every kind there. I'll still be doing Pokemon stuff, even playing a little with cults in there too. But thanks so much for being here. Thanks for staying for the speech. Please continue listening if you are here and are interested in cultish stuff, are interested in hearing queer voices, are interested in stories in general. That's where the title Jesse's Stories come from. So to begin, Elizabeth Clare Prophet, she definitely was a cult leader, a very well-known one. You can just look up her name on Google. You can type in Elizabeth Claire Prophet and all this information about her will come up. They she's counted as a spiritual leader. She was a new age religious leader based in Montana, Paradise Valley. So that's where she communed with her group eventually in time. She was born in New Jersey in the 1940s, raised by non-religious parents, which is interesting because the church that she eventually takes over was once her husband's. And then she builds her own church from there. So she was the leader of the Summit Lighthouse, known as and, well, the Summit Lighthouse was owned by her late husband. When he died, she took over the leadership. And then she began her own church, short for cut, which is hilarious. You're getting cut into cut into the church. And that stands for Church of Universal Science. She went to school originally for science, which is interesting. She birthed the concept of Twin Flames. Like, yes, it's always been around. Pluto is the one who first talked about Twin Flames. We can go into a video if you guys are interested in this, into Pluto's concept of Twin Flames. But she's the one who brought about this blueprint concept of Twin Flames, which we are going to watch a video on that blueprint coming up very soon. Actually, we can watch that blueprint. Let's listen to what Elizabeth probably Prophet herself, Twin Flames, and what they are. You'll get to see the little lighthouse advertisement in the beginning, so you get to see how similar it is to Twin Flames universe and their music and so on. It's similar. It's not exactly the same, but it is similar. You can tell where it was taken from because she was around in the 1980s. 1940 she was born in. She didn't become a leader until she was like in her 40s or so, late 40s. This is a guesstimation of the age, but okay. And I am going to do another video on Twin Flames Universe, actually a couple ones after this, just because I feel I need to delve a little deeper into that. But here is her video. We're only going to watch maybe two minutes of it, not too much of it. Two minutes, 45 seconds, because then she gets into Twin Flames so intensely. <laughs> She's talking like almost in 3D, 5D that a lot still talk about today. A twin flame is the other side of your being. The allegory in Genesis says that Eve was taken from the rib of Adam. That is a description of this spiritual process in the heart of God. What this means is that uniquely there is an electronic blueprint and a white fire core. And out of that blueprint, there are two beings, one carrying the minus charge of it, one carrying the plus. No two beings have ever been created aside from these two having that identical electronic blueprint. This is why the beloved is absolutely unique. When we descended through the great spheres of the causal body, these twin causal bodies, we journeyed through them. The blueprint she's going into, so the plus and minus. 
And you can think of Jeff and Shelly as divine masculine, divine feminine, plus minus yin yang. They do do the yin yang thing. As you can tell, twin flames are a blueprint. So they are better than your soulmate, which Jeff and Shelly explained that too in older videos that you want your twin flame, not your soulmate. She's explaining how they're polar opposites, but together they make up the yin and yang that God created you for. She's preaching that far before Jeff and Shalia are. I think that was like a 1989 uh, recording of her, of Elizabeth Clare Prophet. She actually attracted a lot of her followers in the 1970s to 80s, thousands, about tens of thousands. She was known as Guru Ma, or Mother, very familiar names of other cult leaders of the modern day world. She said that she had dictations from ascended masters such as Jesus, Buddha, and Saint Germain. I don't quite know who Saint Germain is, but Jeff and Shalia claim that the same thing, and Mary Magdalene, and Jesus, and also being related to them too. You can see that in my article below. So she could speak to Jesus. She could speak to Buddha and St. Germain. Her church had over 50,000 members, so she was a very strong cult leader in her doing. In my personal opinion, she was a cult leader. Like, all these signs alone are very cultish and sound a lot like Jeff and Shalia. Even her Church of Universal Science, that's like Church of Union, C-O-U, and she even has it shortcut term, just like they do too. And she worked on communing. So a communion, she had followers move to Montana in 1983 because she felt that she felt divinely led there to, that was her own quote, divinely led to live in Montana and have all her 50,000 followers live there with her commune. She wrote a book called Soulmates and Twin Flames, The Spiritual Dimension of Love and Relationships. So just think of Twin Flames, finding your ultimate lover, same idea. Same concepts. This isn't a new concept. It has been around since Pluto's day, which is like BC time period. But Elizabeth Clare Prophet really brought to light in the 1980s and 70s. I guess 70s and 80s, this idea of twin flames that we know today. This idea of two polar opposites being together in this lifetime, since there's all these different rhetorics out there of not being together, there's only 144, blah, blah, blah. Uh, she also was someone who, as a cult leader, was prepping for a nuclear war. Well, not nuclear war, what was it? Um, she had prophesied and prepped for a nuclear, and it never happened. And that kind of reminds me of even like Twin Flames Universe, when the very beginning when I was first about to leave in 2020, just reading some things. I didn't take screenshots, but of what Jeff was saying to people of, oh, it's like the apocalypse. It was, he was starting to put that phobia in at that time. And with me, it was, oh, I, I definitely want out of here. So she was putting that in her followers back then too, for something that never happened. That's what a lot of cult leaders do. They prep for things that are never going to happen. They do a lot of stuff that's never going to happen. And she, she died, funny enough, of Alzheimer's. Her 70s. I think it was in 2009. I don't know the exact date. It was October in 2009. She died of Alzheimer's. So her mind was leaving anyways. And she was having all these followers. So she had, even just watching her old video, she had a certain thing about her, the presence, the way she spoke. It drew people in. It drew people in in the 80s and 70s. It drew people to her. That concept of twin flames, it's still a concept that even draws Hollywood today. People are very into that concept. Though in reality, to me personally, it's a very toxic concept to have this yin-yang, negative, positive. Why can't you just find someone that isn't like you and not the same blueprint as you, but someone who you can relate to and love and be able to share that? relationship and love with everyone without it having to have a title or label to it. Like with me, I choose to not have a full label for myself. I just say queer because I'm still figuring out fully where my own desires lie within who I love, which I love everyone. <laughs> But I am part of the LGBTQIA community regardless. I've already come out in the cult in itself when I was there. But these are all important things. I wanted to kind of go over her, Elizabeth Clare Prophet, so people understood where she actually, the idea, the word Twin Flames, and one of the first books that I know of to exist on Twin Flames is written by her. Again, it's called Twin Flame, The Spiritual Dimension of Love and Relationships. She wrote that. And if you're curious, I am going to leave a lot of her articles 
below that kind of go more into things. One of the articles I read had a lot of history of her, but I wanted to just focus on her followers, her drawing, and kind of show you a little bit of her concept of Twin Flames, which is a blueprint of yin and yang. This undeniable desire that you must have because God created this person for you. That same idea that Jeff and Shalia teach. She was already teaching in the 1970s and 80s and drawing people in. So it took about 10 years for her to draw in a whole lot of people. And the only difference is she wasn't online. She was in person because online, I guess, wasn't as big a thing. I know as the 80s became more readily available in 90s, online cults became a thing. But she was during the time period when online cults weren't a thing and cults weren't really called out as much during this time period since I don't see anywhere in her information saying cult leader, just saying a spiritual leader, and that she combined in her teachings Western idea, Buddha, Jeff and Shalia do this too, Christianity, Catholic, she does multiple religions into one in her twin flame teaching in her Church of Universal Science. And she puts science in there too, because she was, she went to school, she has a degree in science, which is very interesting. And yet she went into spirituality, that's like Jeff and business and spirituality. Cult leaders like to go against the grain of things. She's a great kind of back in the day time period woman that was a cult leader, but you don't hear about her often. But she was a cult leader. By definition, if you go back and just read Dr. Lalich, any of her books, Take Back My Life, just any of her books, which I'll also link below, you'll see for yourself, by definition, Elizabeth Clare Prophet meets the criteria of a cult leader. She's authoritarian. She is able to draw people in. She has something people want. So she used Twin Flames then too. Something people want. She had a plan. Jeff had a plan that he's still falling through with today. We'll go into the whole communion idea of Twin Flames universe in the next one. Since everyone's a little interested in that, we'll definitely hop on that wagon and go a little into there, considering I was in that cult. That's why I wanted to also cover Elizabeth Clare Prophet. And I keep on saying her name purposely. She was the pioneer woman of her time period talking about Twin Flames and isn't actually recognized for the word of Twin Flames, though she's the one who brought that up in this time period. And she's the one who brought it to light and taught it in her clearly sermons of just that one video. She has other videos that go further in depth of Twin Flames too, which you can easily find on YouTube. I'm gonna show the full link, YouTube length of the video that I played for you down below. Hopefully the sound will sound better. If it doesn't, at least I explain it to you guys. And it's only a minute of it. And we can even do a little comparison if you want of her versus Twin Flames Universe. It might be fun. But other than that, thanks so much for being here. I'm glad you guys are here. I am trying to get on the program. So the partners program just to help continue spreading education and yeah, educating mainly using voices. Well, not using uh, spreading awareness of the LGBTQIA community, how we aren't harmful humans, that we're humans just like you and me, spreading stories. Jesse's stories. This is a stories channel. So if you're here, you're interested in stories of all kinds, whether it's cultish Pokemon, which there is a cult in Pokemon, but whether it's cults, Pokemon, queer voices, just places in entertainment, docu-series. I'd like to do more behind the scenes of docu-series. We'll see if I can do that. <laughs> I hope so. So please share with a friend or frenemy or enemy, family members, anyone you know that's interested in stories share it with friends. Any videos on this channel, this video that I just did, you can like, subscribe, and leave a comment below, please, of what else you'd like to see on this channel. And thanks so much for being here. Embrace your truth. Tell your story. Thanks so much, guys. Bye. Peace.